It's been just over a month since Amber Heard lost the defamation lawsuit to ex-husband Johnny Depp and was ordered to pay him $8.5 million. And Heard is already facing even more legal trouble due to a vacation the former couple took in Australia in 2015. What did Amber do again? And can she really go to jail this time? Stay with us to find out. While Amber Heard may still have to figure out how to pay Johnny Depp those millions of dollars, things are also reportedly heating up with her legal issues in Australia, namely because the powers that be are reportedly investigating her for perjury. The Australian Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment is currently investigating allegations of perjury by Ms. Heard during the court proceedings for the 2015 illegal importation of two dogs into Australia. The dogs in question are Heard's two Yorkshire Terriers, Pistol and Boo. Heard failed to properly declare the dogs when she and Depp visited Australia in 2015, which broke the country's strict quarantine and biosecurity laws. Heard was charged with two counts of illegally importing the animals that July, although the case was closed in April 2016 after the actress pleaded guilty to falsifying travel documents and paid a fine of $7,650 after her lawyer, Jeremy Kirk, insisted that the paperwork for the dogs had slipped through the cracks and that there was no attempt to deceive. Kirk said Heard thought that her then-husband staff had completed the paperwork and was exhausted and suffering from sleep deprivation when she ticked the wrong box on her arrival card. But despite the case being closed in April 2016, the entire incident was revived in 2020 after Kevin Murphy, Depp's former estate manager told London's High Court that he had warned Heard about the strict policies, procedures, and entry rules when bringing animals into Australia. I also explained to Ms. Heard several times the fact that trying to take the dogs into Australia without completing the mandatory process was illegal and could result in very harsh penalties, including euthanizing the dogs. Murphy testified during Depp's libel case against The Sun in 2020. When I expressed that I was extremely uncomfortable with this, Ms. Heard said to me, well, I want your help on this. I wouldn't want you to have a problem with your job. He continued, alleging Heard ordered him to provide a false statement regarding the matter. It became very apparent that Ms. Heard was threatening my job stability unless I cooperated with providing a declaration that supported her false account for the Australian proceedings. Murphy, who worked for Depp for eight years, added, Because of this, I felt extreme pressure to cooperate, despite knowing this would involve being untruthful. During his testimony in the 2020 case, he claimed that Amber Heard asked Johnny Depp to lie under oath during the 2015 investigation with the Australian government. Government. Murphy claims that Heard pressured Depp to lie under oath and pressured Murphy to claim that he was the one responsible for not filing the proper paperwork when they flew the dogs into the country. Murphy claims that while he worked for Depp at the time, Heard had control over him. According to the Daily Mail, the FBI is assisting the Amber Heard investigation, though the FBI themselves are not commenting. Sources have said that if Amber Heard is found guilty of perjury, she could face a maximum sentence of up to 14 years in prison. It seems from the most recent reports that the investigation is far along and that Heard may may be facing charges of either perjury or subornation of perjury. This second-degree charge means convincing someone else to provide false testimony. Old habits die hard. Amber is once again accused of manipulation, but this time nobody is surprised or even doubting that she is guilty. As part of the deal Amber Heard made with the Australian government in 2016, when the illegal dogs importation case was closed, both she and Johnny Depp participated in making a brief video for the Australian government. The video was in support of Australia's strict quarantine laws, and it explained that bio security is the reason Australia needs people to follow the rules. The video went online and was immediately mocked on social media, with some fans saying the couple looked like they'd been kidnapped and held ransom. However, Amber Heard's lawyers are relying on their court victory in the United Kingdom to get Amber out of her Australian mess. The Court of Depp's Choice, the London High Court of Justice, found that Depp committed at least 12 acts of DV against Amber Heard, causing her at times to fear for her life, wrote Amber Heard's lawyer in their statement. It is truly inconceivable and we are confident it is not true that either the Australian government or the FBI would embrace a policy of further pursuing and victimizing a person who has already been adjudicated to be the victim of DV. This is especially true when the exact same claims being reported in the press now were made unsuccessfully in the UK High Court. Fans on social media are divided as usual, with this Twitter fan speaking out against Amber. Amber Heard forced someone to lie under oath in Australia, more proof of how nasty and conniving she is. However, other fans on Twitter believe that Amber covered up for Johnny because if he had been caught, that would have affected his work visa for the shoot of Pirates of the Caribbean. This user said, I need to know more about this. Apparently Amber Heard took the fall for Johnny Depp in the Australia dog smuggling incident because it would have affected his work visa for the Pirates of the Caribbean. Another user defended Amber. Given the fact that Amber wasn't alone on this flight, he asks why everyone is only blaming Amber for the incident. Why are people blaming Amber for smuggling dogs into Australia? Depp and his entourage were on the same plane, all filled in the same form of the exact same questions. Is Amber Heard guilty? And 
will she end up in jail? Tell us what you think before you click on this next video for more celebrity drama.